the Bremen Town Musicians from the Brothers Grimm. Illustrated by Charles Mikulasik. Quite a long time ago, in the days when donkeys instead of trucks used to carry things, there lived an old, old donkey. He had served his master well, but now that he was too old to be useful, his master was planning to get rid of him. While I can still use my legs, I'd better go elsewhere, said the donkey. In his younger days, he had a most beautiful bray, and so when he had it in his head to go to the town of Bremen, there he might join a band of musicians. He had not gone far when he met a dog, old as himself, panting hard. Why are you panting so hard, old dog? asked the donkey. I am old and stiff and tired, answered the dog. I am no longer useful to my master, and he refuses to feed me, so I am running away while I can. Come join me in going to Bremen to be a musician, said the donkey. I shall bray, and you can bay. We shall make fine music. So the old dog joined the donkey on his way to Bremen. They had not gone far when they met an old cat mewing pitifully. Why so sad, old cat? asked the donkey. I am old and shaggy, said the cat, and my mistress plans to drown me. Then come with us to the town of Bremen, said the donkey. We are off to be musicians, and your gentle mewing would be most welcome. This seemed to the cat more pleasant than drowning, so off he went with the two musicians. Soon they came to a rooster, crowing sadly. Rooster, why are you so sad? asked the donkey. Tomorrow I will be made into soup, said the rooster, so I am crowing while I can. Then come with us to be musicians in Bremen. When you are happy, I am sure you have the most beautiful crow, said the donkey. Since being a musician seemed better than flavoring a kettle of soup, the rooster joined the other animals. As it grew late, they became tired. They stopped and looked around for a place to rest. Not far away, they saw a large oak tree. They decided to settle there for the night. The donkey and dog lay below the tree. The cat settled himself on a low branch. The rooster perched himself high on top as sentry. As the rooster looked around, he spied a house not far away. How cozy it would be sleeping there, he sighed. All the animals agreed, and so they left their tree and made their way to the house in the woods. As they came up to the house, the donkey walked softly to the window and looked in. Can you guess what he saw? A table loaded with good things to eat and robbers sitting around it. Oh, thought the donkey, how good all of those things would taste. And I know just how we can get them. Then the donkey told the animals of his plan and arranged them at the window to frighten the robbers. The donkey stood with his front legs on the window ledge. The dog jumped onto his back. The cat sprang onto the dog's back, and the rooster hopped to the very top. Then they all began making their music. The donkey brayed, the dog barked, the cat meowed, and the rooster crowed. It was gloriously noisy. As they finished, the dog's hoofs slipped, and they went crashing. Rooster over cat, cat over dog, dog over donkey, through the window. The frightened robbers ran, screaming into the woods. The four friends lost no time in eating their fill. Then they settled themselves, each in his favorite way. I love curling by the fire, purred the cat. 
My place will be behind the door, added the dog. The donkey said, I shall sleep outside. The rooster showed everyone his favorite spot by flying up to the high roof. Out in the forest, the robber chief was telling his band, we were frightened too easily. So he sent one of the robbers back to the house. The robber found it quiet and went in. But when he bent down to light a lamp, the cat sprang at him like a demon, spitting and scratching. The robber ran to the door. There he fell over the dog who bit his leg. He ran outside where the donkey kicked him with his two hind legs. This awoke the rooster who crowed, Cock-a-doodle-doo! Cock-a-doodle-doo! The robber never stopped running until he reached the robber chief. Then, panting, he told him, What horrors in that house! By the fire sits a witch who clawed me. As I ran out, a man at the knife stabbed my leg with a sharp knife. In the yard, a dark monster attacked me. And on the roof sits a judge who screamed as I went by, Stop, rude thief! The robbers were so frightened that they decided never to go there again. And so from that day on, the donkey, the dog, the cat, and the rooster remained in the little house in the woods. Together they all made beautiful music to the end of their days. And that is the tale of the Bremen Town Musicians. <laughs>